Hey everybody, King Tip here from the Eternal Paradox. Um, so we're on U4. Now, um, I was originally thinking my next series would be, uh, Scandinavian Powerhouse. But, as you can see, this is just, you know, regular vanilla. Because it is just vanilla. But really... The new DLC came out today. It's Wealth of Nations. It's looking pretty cool. I have never tried it out at all. So, I'm thinking we'll play as possibly Denmark? Sure, we'll do Denmark. The idea is you don't have to have a big country to be powerful. You have like power projection. So, like, people can fear you if you're just, like, small Denmark. Because you have two giant sub- sub- what are they called? Uh, personal unions. So here is power projection. So I, I don't have enough rivals. Apparently I have to have more rivals? Okay, too few rivals. Let's get rivals. I'm going to declare, and they have to be reasonable rivals. Yeah, see, uh, I'll declare Novgorod. I'll declare Hansa. And I'll declare Teutonic Order. So those are my rivals, and my power projection is now plus one, and it will get plus three yearly, because I have long-time rivals. Uh, that's basically the main difference. Also, they've updated the, uh, Terra Incognita. Terra Incognita. This isn't a, this isn't a mod. This is the actual Wealth of Nations. One second. Had to cough. Okay, so we can get started. Uh, first and foremost, I want to improve relations with Sweden so they don't break off from our personal union. Well, I gained five prestige. I like prestige. We do have negative one stability though. I'd like to do that as quickly as possible. Uh, I think we also declare war on the Hansa as quickly as possible. The thing is, they have receiving trade bonds. Okay, that's new. But the thing is, they have uh, their allies. Lots of them. So I want to look at this, receiving trade power. So if, if I was to click here, yeah, the trade is already, your trade port is already located in this node. So, ooh, so like in Holstein, I could, oh, this is my main trade post. Okay, so I guess per node you get more trade ports. Sorry, this is my first time I'm learning too. So like for trade. So right now we're all in Lubbock. So we can't get any more. But say if we expand to the North Sea or Baltic, we could do stuff like that. Mission. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. Add policy? Okay. Defeat rebels, yeah, yeah. How many do we have? What the? This is weird. This is really weird. Um. 
So we have eight transports that'll be enough. Let's get you guys a leader. And board the ships. Oh yeah. Accept the mission. Defeat rebels. Or five prestige. Not that big, but we do need to take out the rebels. Go get them. Dang. Import iron? Hang on. Sweden goes up and gain 40 military power, but lose mercantilism. Mercantilism. Or we need to rely on our own re resources. Yeah, let's rely on our own resources. Blow. Oh, paused. Whoops. Oh, come on, we got done this. Good. Next board. Alright, so we got our rebels taken care of. Although it's not saying that for a mission. We don't have any more rebels. Is this a glitch? Fewer rebel provinces than one. We don't have any rebel provinces. Uh. I don't know what's happening. Oh well. No. He's supporting Sweden's independence. I'm not gonna be able to do that. How about we try to ally Poland? Let's get a royal marriage with them. Oh, now the thing went. Danish trade. Ooh, alliance from Poland. That's what I wanted. And Lithuania. Alliance from you. As well as a royal marriage, please. Thank you. So now declaring on Tonic Order shouldn't be as hard. Uh, wow. Oh, thank goodness! They have specific call allies. That's so useful. Oh my gosh. Like, if someone says no, if someone says no, you can just uncheck them. Because it used to be, you had to click call allies, and if, like, one of them would do it, but the other one wouldn't, uh, you couldn't. You always select all, and if they decline, you, they just break their alliance with you. So, like, say, France was my ally, and, like, it would be unreasonable for him to fight someone over here. I can just uncheck them and we could fight. Uh, but yeah, we need, um. Just claim. Whoa. Justify trade conflict? Cool. But we'll just go the old fashioned claim. On Ostprusen. I like Ostprusen. Capital of Prussia. Alright. Uh, Royal Marriage has died with Lithuania. I don't like that. Uh, oh, it's because they're in a personal union with Poland. Well, that's okay. Pomerania. You like me. Maybe we can vassalize them. Treaty of Support Independence. Stop that. Stop supporting Sweden's independence. Almost. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought someone declared war on me. Yep. Sweden declared a. Okay, this is bad. But Poland's on our side in this war, right? Yeah. Denmark, Holstein, Lithuania, Mazovia, Mandovia, Norway, and Poland. Woo! Gotta win this, guys. Uh, we can't do that, although our navy is not good enough to be with both of them. But 
individually we could take the their neighbor. So I'm gonna move out. Mm, I'll move out here. Is Bohemia in the war? No, I don't know why they have a. Oh, that's Poland's men moving through Bohemia. Man, Poland's having to go a long route to get into our country. Oh, sweet, Holstein. I'm gonna go meet up with Holstein. Come on, Norway. Uh oh, uh oh, this is a fight. This is a big battle. Oh no, there's another. Oh, we're gonna lose it. We're gonna lose it. Here, try to dock, dock, dock. Yes. We managed to escape. Dang, we have a lot of money. Dang, that's a bad error. Christian, 0 2 1. This is not completely bad, but. Well, their ships are stuck. Uh, although they are blocking my way, so I can't get over there. So I'd have to do it really quickly when they're not. Well, we're losing this right now. We need to find a way to get our troops over into their land. Although Norway and Holstein seem to be doing seem to be doing a pretty okay job. Combine, hurry, you're only gonna make 10. Dang. They do have a river crossing. We're gonna win that. Nice. The Teutons will just move their freaking ships out of the. Finally, thank you. Move, 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 move. Thank you, Norway. Alright, we need to go help our friends up here. Like Norway. Right, come on. Besiege Stockholm. If they enter it from these two provinces, they'll have a river crossing. Or actually, a uh, province. Oh, not that. This I can't tell. Because if I take their capital, that basically means the war is over because their war goal is to- Okay, come on Holstein, you need to support me if they attack me. See their- see, defend capital Stockholm. So if they don't defend it, it's our war to win. I'm gonna come out here and support these Nor Norse ships. Poland's fighting off, well, at least they tried to fight off the Teutonic Order, the Novonian Order. Oh, I'm scared where their army is. Uh oh. Where did the Norse troops go? Dang it. Alright, hurry, go to Spain, go to Spain. Thank you. Oh, I wish I could help these guys. Sorry, Holstein. Gain prestige. Best thing to do right now. This isn't going great, but I guess it's not going bad. I guess it's also blockade efficiency. It's weird. Oh, yes. Take out the Teutonic Order. Yeah. You know what? I should probably get a leader for you, an admiral. There we go. Ottomans have announced Austria as their new rival. Man, Ottomans and Austria are already at it. Riga entered an alliance with the Teutonic Order. I do not like that. 
Man, Livonian Order is sieging Lithuania. I do not like that either. Okay, yeah, I realize my ports are blockaded. Poland has disputed. How old is he? 21. If he gets old and he still doesn't have an heir, sure I'll claim his throne. Although, I once claimed some guy's throne that was 50, and when he turned 53, he had a son. So, I don't think age matters in this game. Alright, we're about to siege Stockholm, which will jump our war score. Like, literally, from 15, it's from negative 15, to probably like 30. Although they are sieging Motlin, Ed, Ed Serva. It's not good. Hmm. Well, this new expansion pack is new. If that's what I had to say. Extremely new. And some of the things it adds are good, but some is a, is a little confusing for already known gamers of E4. Uh, that's gonna be, yes, 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 yes. Well, I guess it didn't go to 30, but it went to 1%. We're already in the lead. Uh, let's go to Oscar Gotland. And that will be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been King Tip from the Eternal Paradox. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe at your will. This, this has been King Tip. Signing out.